What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> so there we got. Oh, you see what's on the screen. You see the title. This gonna get me mad, man. This gonna get me mad, Steve. Don't do that. Don't do that, Steve. Cause if anybody is Michael Mother Jordan from this time, it's LeBron James, boy. You better act like you know, like what? what what's going on with you? What's going on with you? You forgot LeBron James. Are you crazy? Let's get into this BS. This BS that I'm hearing. You know, I don't want to hear it. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. I don't want to hear it from nobody else, though. You know, only the guys, only the, only the, only, only, the, only the people that have been here. Nah, not even even if you haven't been, you can chat, chat, chat. But you know what I'm saying? All the way here, don't bore, yo, yo, don't. <laughs> all the way. Nah, y'all go. Please do not, yo, bro. Oh my God, if I see comments talking about Curry better than Brock Curry, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna argue with y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, man. But let's get into this one. Last reaction at the end of the video, you know the vibes. All links in the description. Oh, hold on, my fault, y'all. Oh, I'm up opening wrong. <laughs> Long time Warriors coach and former Bull Steve Kerr recently got some comments about Steph Curry <laughs> as well as Michael Jordan. The basic summary of his points was saying Steph Curry was the quote-unquote modern-day Jordan. At face value, this claim seems pretty outlandish and is very bold. As when it comes to it players, the guy who's compared to MJ constantly is LeBron James. LeBron! And comparing Steph Nigga. versus MJ at face value seems pretty odd, as Steph Curry is a 6'3 point guard who's a sniper, and MJ is a 6'6 shooting guard who rarely shot threes. But when you really dive deep into it, it's not we know, crazy bro. to say Steph Curry. We know why Steph Curry got got, got four chips. Okay, that's that's tough. He's one of the best shooter of all time. You know, he ended up changed the way the game is played. You know, but he's not better than LeBron. You know, he's not better than LeBron. So how the hell is he modern day MJ? You know, the. Is the modern day Michael Jordan. And looking at the first similarity in both these players, it has to do with their dynasties and their championship teams. Yeah, As you know why, yeah. Bulls to this day, That's a fact. immediately Michael Jordan comes to mind in his six championships in eight seasons. And when you mention the Golden State Warriors, the exact same thing happens as Steph Curry is by far the first name you think of. As for his career, he won four championships in eight years and made six final appearances. And looking at both Jordan and Curry's team, in the last 30 years, they're the only two teams to make six final appearances in eight seasons. And looking at all their championships, both MJ and Steph had a weird gap in between championships, as Jordan retired for nearly two seasons, and Ugh. Steph Curry got injured in 2020 and only played five games. And one more similarity, Looking at Jordan's Bulls, they maxed out at 72 wins in 1996, compared to Steph's Warriors, who won 73 games and barely edged out MJ's Bulls. I was dead as Steph Curry fan at this time, time. yeah. I think so. And looking at both those I was a seasons, bandwagon. Steph and Jordan, go, uh, they both averaged 30 points and won MVP. Of course, Steph was unanimous, getting every first place vote, and MJ was nearly unanimous. And I do want to throw one more thing in there. In NBA history, they're the only two MVPs to win 70 plus games, a record I think might be unbreakable. And staying with the 2016 Warriors, of course, they did not win the championship, but the following year won 67 games and the playoffs went 15 and one. And for modern day fans, this Warriors team is regarded as the best team of all time. Compared to Jordan's Bulls, for 96 also have a claim to be the best team in NBA history. And one more similarity, both Jordan and Curry's teams are considered by far the best squads of their era. As both the Bulls and Warriors were the best offensive team, the best defensive team, and had a stacked big three with great depth. And looking at Steph and MJ's titles, 
I do find one thing pretty interesting. They're four. What do you say? Oh, I'll take it back, y'all. Era. As both the Bulls and Warriors were the best offensive team, the best defensive team, and had a stacked big three with great depth. And looking at Steph and MJ's titles, MJ ain't have no stack big three, really. It wasn't really no big three. Like I, I guess you could say Dennis, but that uh, I, I guess yeah, yeah. Dennis was a was a great a great uh rebounder, defensive defensive player, things of that nature, man. But. I don't, I don't think MJ, MJ, I'm look. I, I've been watching MJ's teams. <laughs> MJ's teams was not good. Man. It wasn't good. They just, they just they figured out how to play together. I'm realizing that because like wild. I do find one thing pretty interesting. Their fourth championship evoked tons of emotion. As for Jordan, his fourth title it was so many. And 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 the Warriors had like four superstars that one year. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? Two years actually. Because his dad had passed away two what? years prior. Yeah, the big four. And for Steph Curry, what? winning his fourth championship, he overcame numerous injuries, a roster overhaul, not having Kevin Durant, and of course, won his first Finals MVP. That's not a. And that's he didn't overcome that because he won without KD before, right? Am I bugging? I'm pretty sure he won without KD before, so he didn't really have to overcome that. I would argue Jordan and Steph's fourth championships are up there with the best revenge seasons of all time. As once again Steph Curry proved the dynasty wasn't over and Jordan 96 showed once again he was the top dog and the 95 loss versus the Magic was a fluke. Okay, now, okay, okay. the okay. second reason why MJ and Steph Curry are so comparable. That's, that's, what, that's what Steve is saying. Basketball forever. Mm -hmm. And of course it's no secret both Steph and MJ they're elite scores. But the way they get buckets couldn't be ah. more different. As Steph operates on the perimeter, taking 10 plus threes, <coughs> compared to Jordan, <coughs> his work inside the arc with around 10 mid range jump shots. And looking at Jordan's scoring, what he did for the dunk is very similar to what Steph did for the three point shot. As back in MJ's day, having a highlight dunk and winning a dunk contest was of the utmost importance. Compared to Steph's era, we're shooting from 35 plus feet is commonplace for kids in college, high school, and even middle school. And I think it's pretty unanimous. The three point contest nowadays is vastly more important and impressive to fans than the dunk contest, in large part due to Steph Curry. And one thing I do want to highlight yes, Jordan and Steph were vastly different in how they score. But looking at their contemporaries in their time period, both Jordan and Steph. We're roughly five years ahead of the curve of their contemporaries. As Steph back in 2016 made a staggering 402 threes compared to James Harden who was third with 236. Don't get me wrong, making that boy was, I think this is the year I was a Curry fan. <laughs> About six years ago, yeah, I was a big Curry fan in middle school. Word. Every, every, every small guard, small that, that, could, that had a little jumper one to be like Curry, man. Everybody was from the same point that jump beat. You know what I'm saying? Thinking he was Curry. I really got a heater on me, though. Word. Used to put up a thousand shots a day. Every day. I got a heater on me. I'm telling y'all. Wait, wait, wait till I start hooping for y'all, man. Watch. I'm going to see that. was highly impressive and even uh, <laughs> I just said, I just said, I just said high status for myself. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Let me put the brakes on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't played ball in like four years, okay? I used to do that though, you know? I used for three years, like two, three years. But we're gonna have to get back into it, man. I ain't gonna lie. I might be whack at first, but you know? <laughs> we're gonna get back into it. We're gonna get back into it. Oh. But nowadays, that mark for the modern NBA is commonplace. As back in 2016, we had a total of seven players who made 200 plus threes. Compared to last year, we were a staggering. 18 players nearly three times as more and looking at 2016 once again teams back then That's took an crazy. average of 24.1 threes compared to now we're taking 34.3 that overall increase Curry of nearly 10 corners is because of step curry not for the real impact in his great for real shooting. that's real shit now, and much now like that's some real shit now that's some real shit you know, 
I went a little crazy about uh, in the beginning <laughs> about them saying Curry is the modern day MJ, but I had no context of the of the of the way they said it, what they said after, you know, anything like that, what they what they meant it as. Um, but just saying that, just and just saying it like that is fake crazy, you know. If you say that and then talk about his legacy, uh, the way he's winning, the way uh he stayed in uh Golden State, um. The way he came back and won, things like that, then cool. But, yeah, but you can't just say he's a modern day uh, MJ. Come on, man. You, I feel like you disrespecting my boy Braun, man. Because what? 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 My boy Braun is a modern day MJ, man. He's a modern day. You <laughs> See, I'm about to go to the great. Time, yeah, me too. He was highly influential for the mid range jump shot. And when it came to his rivals and contemporaries, in that regard, he was light years better, just like Steph Curry. As looking at 1997, mm. the first. Mm. I like these points, though. I like the points, bro. Making, bro, making great points. He kept points. these stats for mid-range shooting. Jordan that year had a staggering 199 more makes in the mid-range than the second-place finisher. And just like Steph, it wasn't just the volume, but also the efficiency. Shooting a staggering 48.9%, which ranks second among qualifiers. My overall point being, looking at Jordan and Steph, whether it be mid range shooting, three point shooting, half court shots, these guys for their era were light years ahead of the best shooters and the best players. And looking at kids playing basketball today, whether it be in India, China, Zimbabwe, Australia, all these kids are shooting threes like Steph Curry. Very similar back in the day, where kids wanted to dunk like Jordan and be like Mike. Now, looking at the third similarity okay. between Jordan and Steph Curry, okay. we have the killer. Because I ain't gonna lie, niggas not trying to be like bro. Like bro, like bro, this fake a place you can't go. You can't get be like bro. You can't. But you could go outside and shoot a motherfucking three though. <laughs> you know, you can't just wake up and try to be bro. You know, you can't just wake up trying to. You know, or try to. Or try to. You know, <laughs> Curry, you could you could wake up trying to pull that ball a okay, hundred times in a row until you make it. So you Curry, you know, for real. Curry changed the game, man. I'm telling you. I remember I was a little fanboy, boy. What? I had, I had a pair of Currys and all that. Or you know, I had, I had like every player ball feature in the game right now. That was lit back then, at least. They was lit in like the 2010s. Had they feet. As both these players PG, are go Kyrie, play the games Braun, at a pivotal moments. Uh, 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 and uh, Steph, just like Jordan, is very uh, uh, who else? Curry. the media uh, uh, and the uh, uh, of his game. As after last year's finals, I don't know what's that feet. I ain't had no hardness. Only, only, only Nike and Jordan. For doubting him and the Warriors dynasty. Just like Jordan back in the day. When Kendrick, per Yo, Kendrick Perkins really be hating like that? Why? Because Kendrick Perkins. They be putting him in 2K hating. <laughs> That's why I'm saying this. He, they be putting him in 2K and he be straight hating on my player. He hating, well, he be hating in real life too. That's crazy. Carl, Byron Russell, BG Armstrong, even Carl Malone. Saying my son Curry can win again. That's crazy. Maybe different. When it comes down to it, they're both straight killers. And for Steph Curry, he does it with a smile, and MJ does it with a scowl. Mm. And like Kobe said back in 2016. Don't be fooled by Steph Curry and his smile, because at the end of the day, he will rip your heart out and be a straight killer. Mm. In this regard, MJ, Kobe, and Steph are all very similar. And once again, do not be fooled by the baby-faced assassin. And last but not least, looking at both Steph and MJ, when it comes down to it, they are both very relatable figures. As Steph's path to the NBA was nothing but difficult, as uh. in high school, he was not a big time recruit, a five star guy, and he barely got a scholarship to Davidson. And when That's it came to the NBA, Curry. he was viewed as scrawny, and saying wouldn't translate to the big game. And with that being the case, he fell all the way to the 13th pick and was highly undervalued. And when it came to his first couple of seasons, he had major ankle injuries, numerous obstacles, and difficulties to becoming an MVP. Steph's overall inspiring backstory is extremely relatable for NBA fans. And like most superstars, 
he is not some seven foot monster throwing down dunks and catching lobs. And even looking at Jordan, you know? his back toward the NBA was simply iconic. As mm -hmm. everyone knows, he was cut from his varsity team and had to play on JV for his sophomore season. And even looking at UNC, right away he wasn't a starter or a big time player. And when it came to the NBA draft, he was the third pick ah. behind Akeem, as well as Sam Bowie. And looking at his overall career, it is definitely story-like in its evolution. As coming in, he had to prove himself as an NBA star and one of the best players. Once he did that, he had a battle in the playoffs going deep, getting beat multiple times. He didn't give up and finally overcame adversity and won three straight titles. Then he retired, came back, won three more, retired again, and set off in the sunset uh. as a Washington Wizard. Looking at both Steph and MJ, for various reasons these guys are highly relatable to the average NBA fan. And when Steve Kerr calls Steph Curry the modern day Jordan, he is not saying he's a one of one copy like Kobe. What are you saying? <laughs> now, I wasn't saying that, but I'm saying, is he saying he's as good as Michael Jordan? You know? You know? Well, I'm, really what I'm saying is, is Steve Kerr saying that Steph Curry is better than LeBron. If you oh you saying that? If you saying that, then 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 then, then I'm I'm then I don't care about nothing I said. If that's what you were saying, you know. But if you're just saying, if you look at their careers, how the, how 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 it played out so far, he's the modern day MJ in that light. I can respect that. <laughs> but in saying Curry Temple, better than Bron, don't play with me, man. Dynasty, don't play with me in these comments, man. He is the modern day MJ. I'm not playing well, with y'all, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see hey. you next time. And that's the end of this one, y'all. Is Steph Curry the next MJ? <laughs> yeah, man. Don't play, y'all. I'm saying, y'all yeah, see how I feel. Let me know how y'all feel. <laughs> Let me know how y'all feel. I mean, you know. Uh, I, I might debate some of y'all in the comments. So just be ready for it. You, you, that's the end of this one. Reaction on your screen. Click that. It's good for your health. OD good for your health.